for a check. Yes. And then Bobby is ready to go in three. Wide shot, two, one. Sorry. Well, Deborah, I guess uh, you've been spending a little time in Dallas recently, haven't you? I sure with have. The two and a half months from June till the middle of August. Yes, and uh, your role now is going to be a continuing thing, is That's it, in right. Dallas? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Just it started October the 12th, or my first show was on, and we've finished 16 shows now. And uh, the first break is uh, uh, April the 4th, I think. If I'm still on, not dead, not sent away, and not whatever <laughs> happens to any of the characters. Well, now, this role has got to do great things for your career, don't you think? On Dallas? Uh, on, on, body on, on Body Double. Um, I hope it'll be a stepping stone. I, I hope so. I mean, who can ever say? We'll just have to wait and see. I don't know how, to, how I think it'll turn out. Well, now, what if it comes to uh, where you have to make a decision of staying with Dallas or going on to, you know, some more film roles? What will you do? Well, fortunately or unfortunately, that's not my decision. That's, uh, in all contracts in that way, it's all their options, so I won't make a decision in that way. Um, I'll be with Dallas until they release me. And, uh, and then I, I would like to do more films, obviously. the. I would rather work two, three, one time a year and uh, in, in a concentrated amount of time than every single day, every single day, every single day. It's, it's much easier for me that way. Now, in this movie, in Body Double, uh, the scenes that we see through the window, is that you or are you doubled in those scenes? In the beginning of the movie? Uh -huh. That's uh, Melanie posing as me. Um, my, uh, she's been hired to, to pose as me, and she has a wig on that was made strand by strand, weight by weight, texture by texture, just like my hair, and she's wearing my clothes. And, and uh, Of course, the film will be very controversial. Any time Brian De Palma does a film, you can just bet on it that <laughs> there's going to be controversy. And um, I suspect that you will come into a part of that controversy. Um, you have said that you gave up modeling because you found it dehumanizing. And I suppose that there are going to be a lot of people saying, well, what about this role? Is not this dehumanizing? De yes, and Brian and I thought about that a lot. <laughs> I said, I got to hit him just once. You have to let me just have that pleasure of <laughs> hit him with the lamp, hit him with this, with that. We, we argued over that a lot of times. And yes, it is dehumanizing in a way, but uh, there is a place, I think, where an actor or an actress, you have your own personal beliefs in life, and then you have what is your job, what are you hired to do. You are not hired to portray yourself. You are not hired to give your beliefs in a film. You are hired to play a character. And I was hired to play a character, so uh, it really wasn't, were, were not my decisions in, in playing or not playing. I could have taken or not taken the role, uh, but I'm not in a position where I can be, where I can pick which film I want to be in yet in my career. I have to, uh, I mean, I'm just growing. I'm just building. I'm just working. and. Uh, as far as I, when I see violence in films, I can't say that I'm from the school that I think that encourages violence. I, I more tend to believe the opposite way that if people see that in a film, it might get rid of their own desire to do that. I, I don't know that uh, the top psychiatrists argue that point, and I can't say which is right, only my opinion. The scene with the electric drill, and of course that's the one everybody's going to talk about and write about. Now. In doing that scene, were you not terrified just at the thought of it? Petrified. Especially, I'll tell you the part that gets me most even now, after having seen the film, is when the drill touches me in the middle of the back. Obviously, that was not me. It was a dummy. But to see that dummy with my wig on, it looked like my hair, my bathrobe, when that drill touches, it's with such a force that it snapped the dummy's body almost in half. You know, the feet almost came up and hit the head. and. I just about fell apart there watching that. It was really frightening, really frightening. Although, I mean, the rest of it, I was there. I know how it happened, so I'm not, it didn't seem terribly frightening to me to watch the rest of it. 
Did you know ahead of time what all would be involved? No, I don't think anybody did after reading the script or being in the movie. Brian De Palma's movies are in Brian De Palma's head, and when you start shooting, that's still where they are. And when they're in the editing room, that's still where they are. And until you see the final thing that comes out in the theater, I don't think anybody has any idea, and nobody can sway his decision in any way. I suspect now that you will get lots of offers to do similar roles. Uh, would you do a similar role again? Uh, I doubt it. No, I wouldn't, no. I mean, I cannot say ever in my life that I will not be a victimized woman. This role is not a, a great acting part. I'm <laughs> not going to win any Oscar for that. Uh, it's, uh, it's a stepping stone and it's a vehicle for me. If I would play that part, I would hope some kind of a social statement could be made by it rather than sensationalism or, uh, or uh, just being commercial. Deborah, it is so refreshing to talk to someone who gives such concise, candid answers <laughs> and doesn't, doesn't play games <laughs> with us in an interview. Um, I think this is going to do great things for your career, and added to that, the exposure that you get on Dallas. I just think you're off and running, my dear, and oh, I wish you, you the very best I of luck. So. Thank you so much. And thank you for talking with us today here in Hollywood. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. Good interview, Deborah. Very, thank very you. nice. Excellent. I've not been programmed to what I should be saying. <laughs> Got here a little late today. <laughs> oh. Okay. Call and stand by, please. We're going to do re-ask first. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, we need to cut this air conditioning. I just oh, yeah. went on and I just turned it on. So I can tell me. Okay. You ready? Okay. All right, and we're ready. Yes. The scenes we see through the window, Deborah, is that you or is that a body double? Going into the movie, did you know what all you'd be doing and what it was all about? Would you do a role like this again if it were offered? The scene with the electric drill, that's the one everybody's going to be talking about. Were you terrified doing that scene? What was it like doing the scene with the electric drill attack? You have said that you quit modeling because it was dehu... You have said that you quit modeling because it was dehum... I'm trying to say de dehumanizing. Dehumanizing. <laughs> really? Okay. You've said that you quit modeling because it was dehumanizing. I cannot say that dehumanizing. word. Dehumanizing. Okay. You quit modeling because it was. I, I messed up the front part. Okay. You quit modeling because it was de dehumanizing. What can you say to the feminists who are attacking you for playing this kind of role? Okay. Supposing it comes uh, to a choice between doing Dallas, continuing that, or doing more feature movies, what will you do then? Now I'll just give you reactions. Oh, okay. The scenes we see through the window, is that you or a body double?
okay. All right.